to say your name and where you were from. I am Yanis Costandino. I born in Florina, Greece. And do you currently live there? Yes, now the seven years, the last seven years I live in Florida. I were I was in Athens for 20, 21 years. And now with my family we return back to motherland. So why did you go back? Huh. Good question. <laughs> we we returned to Florida for more good and easy lifestyle as it is in uh, in the country we grow up with peaceful the children and the the life is more cool more uh, easy without many stress but now as you know in Greece we have everybody stress everywhere with all the problems how long have you been in the United States for this trip? I start uh, 19th of November from North California, from San Francisco. And I, I did some workshops up there. And then um, this weekend, we will spend some time in uh, LA and here in San Diego. Great. Well, since we don't have much time, we should talk about the uh, Folk Dance Festival, where you've been a judge. You were a judge in 2010. What other years were you there? I think my first time, it was uh, 2006, in, uh, here in, in San Diego, and then uh, 2007 in uh, Ontario. And then one more time in uh, San Jose, 2010, yes. And how did you get involved? Who invited you? Oh, this is a big story. Uh, I know many, I know before many people then involved inside in the FDF festival as it is uh, Char Charles Kiriakou, George Nichols, Anna Sirota. And uh, I met them uh, first time in 1989. They come to Florida. And, uh, and then we have the first conversation there. And uh, after that, uh, Every summer I organize one uh, camp, uh, camp in Greece for uh, the Greek dances. And uh, FDF, from the FDF they send with scholarships some uh, directors. And the first, uh, the first very early, they come, uh, Krista Barbas from Seattle, Contos uh, from uh, Long Beach. It was very young. The, the first steps or the first uh, trips, I think, for them to Greece. The second, uh, the second time they come, uh, other two good uh, directors, uh, Sophie Evstratiou and uh, Danny, Danny Staveris. And then uh, one more year, he's come Michael. I don't remember his surname. Mm. Michael the, the Agrius, it was the nickname. <laughs> but okay, slowly, slowly, <clears throat> I. Uh, we start to have this connection with the FDF. And then when they decide from, uh, from the committee to have a Greek uh, judgment, Greek judge, they invite us to participate in this uh, festival. And what did you think of the dancing the first time you went? Oh, uh, this is... Uh, 
But let's we talk in two ways. First, uh, we, when we come and when we show all these uh, groups, all these people, uh, all these children, it was a big shock for us. We don't expect to see this situation. And then, from the other side, we, are, we don't have to our, um, to our education in the dance, in the Greek dances or in the Greek uh, traditional to, com to com compete. Eh? So it's, we don't have competition between uh, Crete and uh, Macedonia or uh, Thras with Epirus. And this, it was very strange for us, how to, to, to vote for one place, for, to say what, you have no good dances and the others have good dances, or good costumes or not good costumes. And this, it was strange. But we understand uh, the way and why happened all this, all this competition, and uh, we we come to philosophy of uh, FDF, and uh, I think we help uh, too much with our directions. The uh, first the committee and uh, second the directors how to what they must to take care, what they must to see, what they must to look, what they must to, how they must to learn all this. We bring, uh, I think, enough knowledge, let's we tell, and uh, enough, we inspire them to, to continue and to look with different ways all this uh, treasure that we have in Greece. What would you like to, uh, is there anything you would like to see the directors do differently now? Uh, one issue, it is then uh, directors, they give too much focus only in the practice, or let's we tell only the steps. They miss somehow the theoretical, the theory, the philosophy, the way how the dances become and how the dances continue in, the, in, uh, in Greece, in the villages. So they must to take care and they must to have more uh, information, oral history, uh, the way how the dance uh, become alive existing and continue so and this and then they must to transfer to the children the way how we learn and how we transfer from generation to the generation it's not only competition and steps and and sweets it's on it's big thing uh I like what you said here tonight about how you learned to dance. Could you speak to that? Yes, up? if you grow up, if you grow up uh, in one uh, village, with uh, where the music is alive, where the traditional music is alive, continue. The the fest in the village is still uh, existing. So. You, you grow up inside in the dances. You grow up inside in this lifestyle. So slowly, slowly, as you grow up, you have your position and your mentality or intentitet uh, in the dance, the inspiration of... of yes, from uh, the place that you grow up. And we try to to give this to we try to give this to 
in one in our students. Do you want to kind of remind you of something that you talked about, about how you start learning with the music first and dancing with the children and there's not all this pressure to learn the steps when you're children ah. in the village. Yes, this is good. So where we are? So ask me what is the oh, okay. what is the way how what? you are learned the how, dances. How, how do you learn to dance in, in Greece? How did you learn to dance? For example, it it, uh, it it we learn we learn with one simple way. We start to participate in the circle at the end. So for us it's as a game. We run, we go, we lose the steps, but in this way, we listen, and our ears, they start to listen the music, the rhythm come in our body, and the, the, the repetition, the repetition is uh, how we took the rhythm. After that, when we grow up, we take care more for the steps because we are little biggest and then slowly slowly we have our position in the circle and our position in uh, when our family dance always we are with them we must be with them so with this we grow up and how the years become, we are more, more close to lead one dance or to, to love one dance and to dance more times, more times. And this, all this repeat, repetition, they make us good dancers and more emotional dancers. How many generations has your family lived in Florida? Oh, many. Uh, more than 10 generations, it is, yes. How, how is dancing in Macedonia, for someone who, who um, is watching this and probably knows something about Greek dance, how would you describe it comparatively to say island dances or other regions? First of all, uh, Macedonia, it's, uh, uh, or the West Macedonia, it's mountain land. Eh? We are up in the, in the mountains. We are, uh, we are mo highest from the 850 meters from the sea level. So, uh, in the village, the villages, the villages, it's, uh, this, uh, this means then uh, the villages and the costumes, it's more heavy. So for this, we need more powerful. The other thing is the, the brass bands. So they give you more, more powerful. And uh, of course, the places in the the center, every center of the village, it is one horostasi, dance place. And everything become to this place. So, all this, the place, the mountains, the, the costumes and the music, they give you one style, dance style. Now, if we, if we are going to the seaside in the islands, we have very short places for dance. We have other instruments and the dancer is more close. The steps is more uh, short and the figures or the dance style, it's completely different from the, uh, from the mountains or from the mainland. I read an, an article that you co-authored, I believe, about how uh, 
place is is part of the emotional and the cultural. Like the dances will change because they're changing the cities. They're getting rid of the the centers of the cities in some villages. And it was about modernizing the cities and how it, it's changing the culture. Yes. Uh, first of all, there is the immigration. Many people in history of the villages, we have uh, the first immigration, it was in early 90. And then uh, some of these people, they become again back and the villages start again to have a life. But after the Second War and the Civil War in Greece, this it was the end for the most of the mountains villages, and either for the for the islands. This what means then they lose they lose the they lose many of of the population and many of the. Uh, of the people then support and keep these traditions and music and uh, dances. And then it was the, the lifestyle, then the people leave from the villages to go to the cities. But somehow, somehow the last five, 10 years, the many young, Many youngs, they come back, they return to the roots. They have, uh, they have many, they do, they participate in the groups, they, they participate in uh, the Panigiria, in Villages Fest. So, slowly, slowly, the village people start to dance again, to show things and to participate, because they find uh, they find people who's interesting for what they do. This is important because the old the old people in one village, if they don't have someone to show what they have, it's difficult to continue or it's difficult to do. But when they come youngest and they ask them and they push them to, or they organize fest, so it's more, make them why, to... Why, what do you think the change was? Why in the last five years? I think uh, this is, a, uh, again, one education uh, uh, problem. Uh, slowly, slowly, we start to learn our oral history and uh, our micro, micro history of the families, of the villages, and then uh, our regions. So we start to support more, more, more the treasures than it is in our villages and in, one, uh, in our uh, islands. So this makes the many youngs from universities to go to, to learn the Greek dances, traditional dances, and then to go back to the villages to study and to learn from the grand, grandfathers and mothers what existed before. And this makes us more rich, more and more, uh, more interesting to continue. Do you think FDF is helping to keep that alive still in, in the U.S. or is it more of an event? I think this is the biggest than FDF do in this uh, side of the of this country. Uh, all this um, the people here is too much, too much, too many, but so far. <laughs> It's so difficult to communicate with the other people or with uh, your people. With uh, so, this exactly is the biggest thing that FDF do. They bring many, many young people 
together. This is one uh, powerful. This, the, this sends some meanings, message. Then we are here, we do what the grandfathers do, or our, and this come because many children, they don't know it to speak in Greek, but they sing in very, very old songs, very difficult songs for the Greeks either. And this make, make them to continue, make them one community, strong community. This is really unbelievable. I wanted to ask you about your father. I've read that he was a, a great dancer too. Oh, my father, yes. He was, uh, he was uh, the person then, uh, it was in the first generations in these big groups in uh, Balkan, then uh, they transferred this lifestyle from the villages to the stage. This happened in uh, 49, 50. So he's participating in one big, uh, big group, folk dance group in uh, Yugoslavia. And then when he's returned to Greece, 54, he was the first again in the first dancers in Dora Stratu group. And as you will know, the Dora Stratu theater and group, it was the first group in Greece then bring all this stuff to the stage. So after this, he's, he's again involved with some people here in the uh, in, uh, United States with Athan Karas, with Nikki Safas and Andy Safas. This is legends in uh, the Greek dances here. It was the people who's starting the groups here. So they invite him uh, during the 69, 60, 68, 69, 70, of these five years, and he's doing tours <laughs> like <laughs> like me across the across the California or across the country, and uh, uh, when he's uh, come back from Athens in Florida, my father, he's organized again <laughs> groups and groups, and uh, I study close to him, of course. He's inspired me too much. He's give me, he's let me to manage all these things that uh, he's, he's doing. For example, costumes, uh, one big and huge, huge collection of costumes, uh, some uh, recordings, some research, some, so, now I manage these things and I hope to inspire my children to continue to manage what I will give them. Well, your daughter is doing that, right? Yes, slowly, slowly. My daughter, yes, she's, she's, uh, she's teach in, uh, children in, uh, back home. She's have two, uh, two groups with children. And sometimes she's travel to far from home for teaching. Where is your, is your costume collection and your, your other uh, music and everything? Is that in Florida? This is in the Florida, yes, in Florida. Do you plan to give that to a museum or? Hopefully your children will take it over? Uh, we, some of this we use for the performances. Mm -hmm. And uh, for sure, uh, we're looking for uh, one uh, museum 
but uh, yes, one museum, but with this uh, new, this with this new style uh, museums. Then, can you see all the the journey, the journey of the costumes, how how it was in the village, and how become uh, today, and. Uh, this is my workshop now to 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 give one uh, educational propose how the children they will come in one place and they will see all this tour how the costumes where it was the costumes why they do and why existing today and why we have today. It's only for the performance, but we need something to learn from them. All right. the, the meanings that one costume Because they, brings. they weren't always costumes. They were actually <clears throat> yes. Two minutes left. Two minutes left, okay. okay. I talk too much. I have too many questions for you. Yeah. I think that's great that you're doing the costume museum. Yes. Um, is there anything you would like us that you would like to say about FDF? Uh, many things. <laughs> 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 many things. Uh, as we tell, the, uh, I will choose to speak to the directors. Uh, they must to study more. They must uh, looking for more things. It's no the dance. It's not only steps. It's mentalities, philosophies, many many things. They must inspire the children with history, with all these elements, and then for sure they are going to become with more knowledge and with with. Uh, with more uh, emotional, they will go to dance more emotional and more with more feelings. <laughs>